Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video based on my thoughts and opinion on Aragorn's Ranger Sword from Lord of the Rings. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Or should I say, welcome to the channel. I don't know which one to use, it's just, it gets me mixed up on a lot of things. But anyway, uh, if you want to see more of my videos in the future, just feel free to click the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified as well, just to know when my new video goes up, because if you want to miss out on that new video, just turn on my post notifications. If you already have subscribed, then thank you so much for subscribing. It helps support the channel and it helps keep me going by posting more videos for you guys to enjoy for entertainment. <clears throat> and if you already have turned on my post notifications as well, then in that case, you guys are all set, all set to go. Um, also, I posted a video about five days ago when I was doing unboxing for this guy. If you haven't seen it yet, or if you missed it, I'll put the link in the description below. In the description below, feel free to go check it out there. Um, and before I get started, I just like to share with you guys two things. Uh, one, I posted a new picture on my Instagram when I was doing the two same poses, but with uh, this sword and uh, Aragorn's other sword that he received in The Return of the King. So two different swords I did the same pose with. Two different poses with them. So if you guys want to check out that picture, I'll put the link in my Instagram in the description below as well. And uh, just uh, before way, way I did this video, before I did this video, I posted a new TikTok video on my account. So if you guys want to check me out on TikTok as well, I'll put my name in the uh, description down below. So anyway, um, so without further ado, let's just get straight into the video and uh, start by doing my the pros and the cons and my, like, you know, let's just get into it. Anyway, uh, my thoughts and opinion on the sword. Oh, what can I say, guys? The sword is absolutely amazing, I'm not going to lie. But the only problem with it is, like, I still don't, don't really get about these four things here on, on both sides of the blade. Like, I honestly don't get that at all. Like, what's it for? Like, I honestly don't get it. But anyway, this the uh, the handle for the sword has a nice grip where you can actually put two hands on the grip for the handle. The guard, I love it. I love the guard. I'm not gonna lie. And the blade, though, holy crap, it's so freaking long. Like, uh. Anyway, I I had a thought, but I'm gonna discuss that with you guys later. But uh, yeah, this blade is really long though. Because if you put your sword like this, you can tell like it's like way, way above your head. Like I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> uh, but either way, I do love the sword, I'm not gonna lie. But it, it sucks that it's not really foam, but it's plastic. And believe it or not, this actually is my very first Lord of the Rings sword of Aragorn that, that I've owned, besides uh, Andredo from The Return of the King. But this is my second plastic sword I've owned. The first one I did own one time was uh, the bigger version of a uh, Sting, because that sword has the uh, can make the uh, blade glow, glow blue. Because there was a button attached to it, so yeah, I had to get rid of it because I don't know. I could have kept it, but it was broken. Didn't have any batteries or anything. So, but anyway, uh, so the pros. I love doing poses with this sword as well because I can actually do this and that. Same with uh, my other Aragon sword I own that I have. Um, oh, guys, by the way, by the way, I forgot to mention. Thank you guys so much for forty-one subscribers. I appreciate that. But I'm hoping I can get at least maybe fifty subscribers. If not, then probably more. But it depends how it's gonna go. Anyway, um, yeah, still for the pros. Uh, this sword is incredible, guys. I was in love with this thing. Like, I still am, because I can still do, like, poses and stuff like that. And, uh, I really did enjoy it from the past five days. Now, for the cons. Uh, the cons is, um, again, I don't get what these things are supposed to be for. For both sides. I don't even get what they're for. Um... Also, for like the, you know, like when you do the fighting scenes from Lord of the Rings, the only thing that sucks about it is if you go like that, if you swing so like so hard and like and all that, 
Every time I do that, I feel like it's gonna break. But I don't think it should anyway, because it is plastic. But it is assembled, but I'm not sure if it's gonna break though, because I haven't really seen anybody order this type of thing on Amazon before and did like a test thing. I mean, I wish I could do the test thing, but no, I don't, I just don't even risk on getting the thing broken and reorder it again. Like buy it again and wait for like two to three weeks just for this thing to come in. Cause I was so excited for it to come in. So yeah, it just sucks. I can't really weigh this thing so hard, but I can do poses and everything with it. Just not like swing it or whatever. Cause I don't want it to break. So yeah. Oh, and the guys, um, I had an idea that I was going to share with you guys. Um, what I was thinking about doing was, well, click the like button. If you guys want me to do like, um, a full review of all four of my uh, Lord of the Rings swords I have. Like Sting, Andredil, Aragorn's Ranger Sword, and uh, like, did I have my strong first? I think. No, because I said Sting, Andreal, the Ranger Sword, and uh, Orcrus. Yeah. So guys, click the like button and comment down below if you guys want me to do like a, a review and comparison of all my four swords I have. But the one sword I'm still missing though is Glamdring, Gandalf's sword. So I'm still planning on getting that sword though. But the only problem with that is I looked on Amazon and there was nothing left. So I gotta wait for that to come back in stock. And once it's back, I'll see if I can order it. And if I can, then I'll do an unboxing video for that sword and another thoughts and opinion. And uh, guys, by the way, this this is gonna be my last video for like a while until something good comes up or whatever. But um, but if I do get like a certain amount of likes and comments, if people want me, if you guys want me to do like a um, a review and comparison of all my Lord of the Rings swords. Plus, the only Hobbit sword that I have. Because <laughs> the Orcus is the only Hobbit sword that I have. Like, the sword I have from the Hobbit series. But, I mean, besides Stain, but... Stain came from... From two different films. So, yeah, guys. So, click the like button and comment down below if you guys want me to do, like, a full review and comparison between all the swords I have that I've owned throughout the years. Well, I mean, I just got this sword, so this... One doesn't really count, so I only had this for five days. So, <laughs> anyway. There's another idea that I, that I had in mind. If I ever do get Glam Glamdrain, I can just post a picture of all my swords from Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit series. Uh, but the fine part is I have like one, two, three, f four things out of... Five things out of phone. So I got Stormbreaker... Sting, Andriel, the Orchrist, or known as the Goblin Cleaver, and Thor's Hammer, Milner. But those guys are not really important. It's just this guy here is more important because that's what the title is about. That's what the video is about, based by the title on the video. But anyway, guys, yeah, there's nothing really much else to, to talk about. And I just noticed that the tip is not really like pointy. It's like more like like uh, a squared shape. Like I just noticed that. Like I'm gonna yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, well, and the uh, blade, guys, I'm not sure if I talked about that, but I just noticed that as soon as I got it assembled, I just noticed that the blade is, like, really bent. Like, there. Here, I'll back it up. Yeah, you can tell it's really bent, but there's something you can really do about it. But either way, it's fine. I like it the way it is, because I don't want to, like, you know, do that, trying to bend it back in place, make it more straight, because I, I don't want to break it, so, yeah. And also, I have, th there's something else I also, that I also mentioned, well, not mentioned, noticed as well. I don't remember seeing these guys in the movie. I don't remember seeing reins on, on the uh, on the sword. I honestly don't. I never saw reins on the sword. Like, where do the reins come from? But, anyway, it's a really nice sword. So, if you guys are, like, a really huge fan of Lord of the Reigns, if you want to get Aragorn's sword... Uh, you guys can get whatever you want. Cause I got this one and Andreo from War uh, from the Return of the King. But if you want to get both, that's fine. Cause that's why I got both. So yeah, cause there's like not 
I think there's some of these sorts left on Amazon, so feel free to order it, you guys, and uh, have fun with it. Just don't swing it too much or too hard because it might break. So I suggest not do that <laughs> if you want to keep your sword in one piece. <laughs> but yeah. Well, that's gonna probably be it for the to for today's video. But if you guys wanna, if you guys want me to post a video for like a full review and comparison between all the swords I have, just click, click the like button and comment down below. All right, guys. So well, that's gonna be it for the video for today. So I'll probably see you guys if you guys want me to uh, do another video for a review and comparison between all the swords. All right, guys. So I'm gonna close the video off and then I'm gonna end it. Alright guys, so do not forget to subscribe for more content, Instagram and Twitter are in the link description. Drop some, drop some likes on, on this video if you all enjoyed it, if you did, hit the like button, comment down below to let me know what you think. Um, if you enjoyed this video, again, hit the like button, do what you gotta do. So as always, thank you guys so much for the love, support, thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel, thank you guys so much for watching, I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time when I post another video. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. So just, again, be sure to hit the like button and comment down below if you guys do want me to do a review and um, a comparison between all the swords from Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in, the, in my next video next time I post it. See you guys.